Right, we've got a new command. It looks like the repeat until commands, but it works slightly differently. So let's take a closer look. So what this command says is, what this program says here is, while we're on the coin, walk forward. So if I run the program, what you'll see is that the cat will keep walking forward until it runs out of coins and then it will stop. Um, you may have also noticed, if I delete all of the program, before I press run, you'll see that there were question marks here. What those question marks mean is that we don't know how many coins there are in each position. And every time you run the program, it changes that number. So if I run it now, you can see it says 333, three, three, so three coins in each position. If I reset it and run it again, it now says 212. So every time you run the program, it gives you a different number of coins. And that's where the while loop comes in handy, because you can just say, while I'm on a coin, keep collecting coins. And we're going to do that now. So let's let's show you how that works. So we've got the while, so we've got walk forward. Let me say, while we're on a coin, we're going to jump into the function. I'm just doing it like this to make it really clear to you what's going on. So we jump into the function and then we say while we're on a coin we're going to uh, pick up all of the coins and then when we've picked up all of the coins we're going to walk forward onto the next tile. So if I run this program now you'll see that we collect all the coins and we walk forward um, and we stop when we get to the end of the coins. Uh, and so if we run the program again, it will change the number of coins on each tile. And again, you'll see that it still picks up all of the coins. So it doesn't matter how many coins there are, it will pick, always pick all of them up. Um, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same for the gems. We're going to rotate left, walk forward onto the first gem, which is there. Then we're going to say while we're on the gem, uh, and then we use a nested loop. Uh, while we're on the gem, we're going to collect all of the gems. Uh, and then we're going to walk forward yeah, like that. So if I reset and run the program, then what should happen is we should collect all of the coins um, and then we should collect all of the gems. And it doesn't matter how many gems there are, it will still work. And it does.